Good morning everybody. This is Shannon with Southern Gardening and I just want to show you the current setup for our chicken coop and our chicken run. That's an electric fence uh, that we have up to protect the chickens and that's their yard. When I'm unable to free range them, they hang out in their yard and I open it up every morning. So I'm going to be taking that plastic off the side today. I'm also going to be cleaning it out and giving them more floor space and eliminating some of the clutter so that there's no room for snakes and wolf spiders to hide. Okay, so let's see if we can do this here. Brighten it up in here. So this is the current setup. That's Red, our new newest rooster. He's kind of skittish. I built those nesting boxes as you can see, out of shipping containers, turned them up on their side, and they've been working fairly good. A couple pet taxis there that we weren't using, and I put in some five gallon buckets for nesting boxes. The only problem with this, besides them losing floor space in here, is back here, there is a gap between the back of the boxes and the wall, which allows snakes and spiders to hide. And of course the snakes are chicken snakes and they come and they eat my eggs. So we're gonna reinforce the chain link with some hard cloth at the bottom and chicken wire at the top. I'm gonna to clean out some of the mulch in the bottom as you can see and it'll be moved to the garden area and these boxes i'll deconstruct them and they'll also move to the garden area for grow boxes i did purchase a metal nesting box uh, to hang up so i'll be reinforcing put bracing in the back along the chain link and hanging the metal nesting boxes up there are six nesting boxes in a row, and technically they only use three areas for nesting at this point in time. They use this dog taxi, this nesting box right here, and then this five-gallon bucket for nesting. So I'm going to eliminate all this. That they're not using anyway give them more floor space and hopefully improve the look but i want you to see what we're currently working with and then i will show you what we're going to do to improve it okay this is the nesting box the used nesting box that i purchased it will need some cleaning up as you can see it's got some rust on it and it's come, it came with nesting pads, but as you can see, they probably could use a soaking to be cleaned up some more. There looks like there's some residual stuff in those nesting pads. So I will be soaking them, scrubbing them up, power washing this nesting box, and getting it painted up to go in the chicken coop. Stay tuned and follow along as we get this project done. Okay, so far, so far this is what I've removed out of the chicken coop. And let me show you the inside of the coop. This is as far as I'm going to disassemble it right now. As you can see, I removed a lot of extra parts. And I'll leave this up just so they have a place to nest and lay their eggs until I'm ready to bring in the metal nesting box. Also, I took that tarp down off the side as well as the plastic one that was laying here or that was hanging here on the side to open it up for ventilation. So the chickens seem very interested in what I'm doing. They've already been over here in this corner cleaning it up, getting the bugs. 
I did find one wolf spider so far, no snakes. So that's a good thing. Hopefully the sulfur and the cedar chips that I threw back there taste it off. And we are going to put the tin, an extra piece of tin down there to close that off. And then I'll use hard cloth around the bottom as much as I can. And then I'll probably come back at the top. I may put down uh, chicken wire at the top, but mainly on the sides and the front. But that's as far as I've gotten so far. So now it's time to go clean up the new nesting boxes. Stay tuned and I'll give you an update. Okay, I got the power washer all hooked up. I decided to put a pallet down so that the nesting box wasn't sitting directly on the ground. And that way if the water collects underneath it, it won't be sitting in the water. So I'm fixing to get uh, busy power washing this nesting box. And those little brackets there that actually go on the bottom of the nesting box to get it cleaned up. And over here, I've got the nesting mats soaking in a bucket of Dawn dish soap so that I can power wash those here in a second. So stay tuned and I'll show you the finished results after I power wash it. Okay, I just want to show y'all that I got the nesting boxes all power washed and cleaned up. I did do the rinse, the soap, and then the rinse again. Uh, this is not a paid, you know, video. I'm not getting paid or uh, endorsing this nesting box. It looks like it's JD's Industries. Uh, this is just a used nesting box that I purchased from an individual. They were actually selling it to be home decor, uh, but in the shape it was in, I wouldn't even put it in my house. It was just covered in poop, chicken poop and nest uh, mess so i power washed it i didn't even feel comfortable putting it in my uh current chicken house for my current chickens um so i don't want my chickens to get sick or anything like that so i power washed it cleaned it up now i'm gonna set it on the trailer to dry and then when once it's dry then i will see about see if i can remove some of that rust with a wire brush before i decide to paint it also there's a few things that i need to uh, fine tune the few screws that came loose uh, things of that nature and look at this overall stability and putting these uh nesting things back in it as well i'm gonna paint it what's called a uh, i think it's a curl red i got and a carrot uh, i can't talk Apparently chickens like red. Most birds like red because they see uh, different shades than we do or different hues of color than we do. And uh, red and warm colors seem to be their uh, favorite. And apparently hens go for the reddest, biggest cone on a rooster. So maybe this red nesting box is just what they need. Oh, also I use the Ryobi... Uh, 1600 psi uh, 1.2 uh, gpm power washer this is not uh, an endorsement for it at all but this is what i had to use so we're using what we have so stay tuned as the project progresses and i wish i could talk today okay i wanted to show you what the nesting pads look like before i power wash them this is what i pulled out of the six uh, nesting box metal thing two of them I threw away because they are old and I do have my own nesting mats but I want to wash them so I prevent any risk of spreading any kind of disease or salmonella or anything like that to my chickens from the previous owners chickens so as you can see there's feces in these nesting pads so I'm fixing to power wash them and get them cleaned up Okay, so I got them power washed and got most of the poop out of the nesting pads. There are still some pieces of pine shavings in there. I'm fixing to do the soap and wash them down with some Dawn dish soap. And if I have to, I will hand pick those pieces of wood uh, pine shavings out of the pads so that they're no longer there. 
Um, it's very serious. You do, if you're using something used, you want to clean it as best as you can. Clean it up uh, before you introduce it to your current flock or your current animals. Because you don't want to spread diseases from, say, one flock to another flock. And you don't know if you're using a nesting box like I am, a used one. Uh, as you could tell, they didn't clean it up before they tried to sell it. And you don't know if they lost all their chickens due to uh, uh, toxidiosis or coccidiosis, whatever it's called, or salmonella or some other disease, or if they just got rid of their animals. But you don't want to spread any kind of disease from a previous owner's flock or animal to your animals so you want to take every precaution necessary to protect your animals so that's what I'm doing today I'm cleaning up everything the best I can and uh, making sure it dries well and make sure it's just as clean as possibly can be before my chickens decide to dirty it up anyway stay tuned and we'll show you the progress okay I got the nesting mats all Washed up with some Dawn dish soap, power wash, got all the poop out of it, all the wood chips out of it. So now I'm just going to let them sit and dry in the sun. And then I'll go check on the nesting box and see if it's time to start working on it. Okay, this is what it looks like with all those shipping crates and all that miscellaneous wood and stuff moved out. I did have two landscape timbers underneath them. So that they would still be off the ground but as you can see the chickens piled up their pine shavings all the way around it so they were kind of sunken now the chickens are working on getting all the bugs that were hiding behind it and underneath it and i'll let them go to work and have their fun i just laid their eggs and their golf balls over in the corner so they would know they could go ahead and lay there while i'm in the process of fixing everything and putting up their new nesting boxes. So this is our progress so far. It's all cleaned out. And as you can see out here in the yard, this is the mess I have made by m removing all the stuff out of the yard. So stay tuned, more to come. Okay, this may be hard to see on the camera, but I'm using this Ryobi grinder with a buffing wheel to kind of grind off of uh, some of the rust to make it smoother. Of course, I will have to wipe it down. As you can see, I haven't wiped it down, but it is knocking off a lot of the rust, which will make it easier. And this is much easier than using a wire brush or a steel wool ball uh, or pad. And I'm getting it inside the nesting boxes as you can tell and knocking off some of the rust after I do this I'll wipe it down maybe hose it off let it dry again and then I'll get it spray painted then I'll fine tune it with uh, as you can see I didn't knock any any rust off there but I'll fine tune the nesting boxes with uh, fixing whatever missing screws are there missing and add boards to it uh, whatever I need to do to make it functional and safe for my hens. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm done grinding on it and getting the rust out as best I could. You can tell I had to grind on each wall, individual wall, and then some. So now I'm going to take it over and hose it off because there's no way I can wipe all this dust off. So I'm going to hose it off, let it sit and dry while I go into the coop and put up my uh, braces. So once this dries, after I put up my braces for hanging it, I will get it painted and get it put in there. Okay, so I decided to go with chicken wire because it's a lot easier to work with. And I was able to use hog nose clips to brace it or secure it to the chain link and I just rent from where that water comes in all the way around this back side and since we know that the snakes are getting in right there at the corner I made sure I made that corner extra secure and I came on around here to this uh, pole so 
so hopefully that will reduce the number of snakes coming in as well as us being able to see underneath the nesting boxes and that is the bracing hopefully that's enough spacing I may have to put up another board between the two the top one should hang from the top and I'll secure the uh, nest from that and then I'll see how what kind of distance there is between the two and we'll go from there so I'm fixing to go paint the nesting box it seems to be dry now and I'll return okay before I start spray painting this I wanted you to get a good look of the amount of rust I did grind this down so it's nice and smooth and removed any excess that I could but this is what it looks like to begin with and I am going to go with this uh, colonial red it's kind of a dark red and all I could find was satin in it and it does say wood metal plastic and more indoor outdoor it is a two-in-one it's a primer and paint in one ultra cover so hopefully it'll do its job and I'll show you what it, this side looks like once I get it spray painted up Okay, I got it painted all red inside and out. And let's just say I'm glad my job is not being a professional spray painter because there are drips and runs every which way. All right, so try not to block it via shadow, but this is the end that we had previously saw with it all rusty before I spray painted it and it looks much better. I even went ahead and spray painted the roof. So like I said, everything inside and out is red and spray painted and yes i spray painted the palette and the grass and there's even spray paint in the water puddle but like i said good thing i'm not a professional spray painter uh at least it's done i just want to make sure that it doesn't rust out on me and i'll get several more years out of it uh or several years out of it there is not more uh because i've never had this box before so I'm going to let it sit here and dry the rest of the way and then I'm going to put that bolt back in the back that fell out and then see about mounting it and making them a resting bar in front of it uh, maybe by a long tree branch or something so that it'll be easier for them to get in and out. Okay now it's time for the big reveal. I've completed today's project by cleaning out the chicken coop, removing all the shipping containers to give them more floor space, and to eliminate the problem of snakes. Well, not necessarily eliminate the problem, but make the coop a little more secure and no hiding spaces for the snakes. So these are my chickens. And they're the ones that I'm trying to protect from snakes, as well as myself. There was only one wolf spider in here, and no snakes, thank goodness. So, now here's the big reveal. There's the floor space. I did put chicken wire around the bottom of the coop. And here is the new nesting box. Or at least new to them. I did find a pole that stretches the width of the coop. I hung it up. I also put a chain there for extra security in the center. And one hen has already been in the nesting boxes and she tried out the third one from the left. So everything's been put together. I did have to get a little help from Rob to hang the coop because it needed two people, one to hold it and one to put the box up. So let me show you the inside of the coop. Now the eggs do roll to the back but as you can see we put a board there to keep them from rolling out. And let's see here. Well, oh, looks like an egg's already been busted in here. I don't know why they would do that. Unless when she was laying it Oh, nope. Hmm. 
Well, we lost an egg. I might have to figure something out to cushion that back section. To keep them from rolling back. Either that or she pushed really hard and it just kind of made a mess. And there's nothing in these nesting box yet. So. But it's a great improvement. We may have to do a few modifications in the back area. Um, I will be putting pine shavings in there, so that should help as well. And maybe help level it out as well. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. And hit follow, subscribe, so that you get to see videos when they're posted. We're learning as we grow. Have a good day.